please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Geneva. I'm Emily Potosnak, and I'm your speech student anchor for this week. We'll introduce you to a Geneva student with a special talent in today's show, plus sports news. All that and so much more because GTV News starts right now. Welcome back, Geneva, and here are your morning announcements for Tuesday, October 18th, 2022. SAD Club will be hosting a general meeting today after school in room EE191. You can attend either before school at 7.15 a.m. or after school at 2.55 p.m. Please see Mrs. Meister if you are unable to attend. Photo Club will be meeting today in room D160 with Ms. Fami. Contact her with any questions. And a reminder to all who are interested in our American Sign Language or ASL Club, they will be meeting every Wednesday after school with Senora Hamilton. Many of you might have heard of Irish dancing, but you most likely don't understand the time, talent, and commitment it takes to find a pot of dancing gold. GTV's Rebecca Suzano introduces us to one student who has the luck of, luck of the Irish with every step she takes. I've been a dancer for 10 years. I danced for the Malayan Godly School of Irish Dance. It was a Christmas present from my grandma. It was so different from anything I had ever done before. I really fell in love like, with competing um, and then with the friends that I had made and the camaraderie um, with my teammates. We do three dances in competition. We have our soft shoe and then we have our hard shoe and then we have our set dance, which is custom tailored to us. I could dance with somebody from England and wouldn't know what way she's going and while we're dancing. Like, you know, during St. Patrick's Day, people just do like the little fun little jigs, um, but there's a whole lot more that goes into it than that. I spend at least 30 hours in the studio, and that's not including uh, work at home and then conditioning. When I qualified for the Worlds for the first time, that was a really feel-good experience. That feeling never gets old. Uh, finding out like you reached your goal, uh, it's a good feeling. Thanks, Rebecca. Geneva wrapped up their last home football game last Friday. GTV reporter Quinn Kennedy has highlights from the game as well as some other big sports news. Quinn? Thanks, Emily. Hello, Geneva, and welcome back to Sports Shield. Let's dive right in. Huge congratulations to tennis doubles partners Juliana Drew and Annie Tomko as they are heading to the IHSA State Tournament. The duo will place third in sectionals over the weekend to qualify for the tournament. They will travel to Buffalo Grove High School on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday to compete in the state tournament. Good luck, girls. Congratulations to the boys cross country team who finished their regular season strong, placing fifth in the conference. They were led by senior Andrew Warcup, who placed 11th and earned all conference honors. Fellow senior Anthony Ross was close behind with a huge PR, breaking the 16-minute barrier for the first time. A small team of runners has advanced on the regionals and will compete this weekend at Settlers Hill. The girls' volleyball team traveled to Glenbard North over the weekend to play in the Autumn Fest tournament. The Lakers went 2-3 and three to finish second in the bronze bracket. The Autumn Fest tournament was the last tournament of the season. They play at Lake Park today for their final game of the regular season. The game starts at 5.30. On Friday, the Vikings played against the 6-1 Wheaton North Falcons. On a rainy night, the score was only 6-3 at half. The defense put up a great performance, highlighted by a Jackson Reyes pick six to tie the game with six minutes to go. Wheaton responded with a quick touchdown, and the Vikings offense could not answer the bell. The final score was 20-13 Wheaton. The Vikings hope to finish their season away on Friday against the 1-7 Lake Park Lancers. If you missed the game, feel free to go to YouTube and search GTV304, where you can hear our play-by-play -play announcement of the game. 
To anyone interested in boys swimming this year, there will be a meeting on Monday, November 7th from 6 to 7 p.m. in the Commons at West Chicago High School. The organizers say to use the entrance H and they will be going over practice and meet schedules along with program expectations. That's all the news I have for you today, Geneva. Back to the desk. Thanks, Quinn. And now for a look at today's weather. We have a high of 45 degrees and the low is dropping down to 28 degrees. And taking a look ahead at tomorrow's weather, we're going to have a high of 46 degrees and a low of 30 degrees. Here's three to know before we go. Seniors, there are early college application deadlines coming up and counselors will be on hand this Thursday during PLC in the Commons with snacks to help with apps. And the school's book club, The Bookworms, will be meeting in the Assessment Center this Thursday at 7.40 a.m. They will be talking about last month's read and introducing our October picks. Also, the GTV club meeting is canceled for today after school. Well, Geneva, that's all the news we have for you today. I'm Emily Pato Patoznak. Have a tremendous Tuesday, Geneva.